And you say you've been into crafting for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I've been crafting since I was a wee little tot. A wee little tot? Wee so little last tot. year, you mean? You mean last year? Exactly, exactly. No, so, <laughs> listen, I love to see a young woman that is out there on the hustle and she's doing your own thing and you're doing it brilliantly, especially when it's DIY, because that's what City Line is all about. This is the home of DIY. Amazing. Since we're talking about spring, mm -hmm. we want to add a little bit of spring decor uh, to your homes with some of your DIY projects, starting with this one. It's so beautiful. Yes. What a nice punch of color. So this one is so, like, literally so easy. It takes less than five minutes. Okay. So I just have a canvas here. You can pick these up from the dollar store even. Super yeah. cheap. And um, so we're going to do, like, a little red to pink to light pink ombre. Nice. So you can start off with some red and... It's great, we've got some here stuffed out already. Do you, what kind of paint do you want to use for this? Does it matter? Just like acrylic. Acrylic yeah, paint? Yeah, just okay. Acrylic. All right. And, and then, do you want it down? Yep, yeah, down is perfect. Yep. And then you start at the top, and it's just literally one streak down, and you see it kind of fades out at the bottom, yes. which is like a really cool, easy fade. Right. And then all I'm going to do for each next color is add a little bit more white. Uh, to make so this. that's how you get the color family. Yeah, so you exactly. start with the reddest red and then it goes lighter uh -huh. and lighter and lighter as yep. you go down. So it's basically all the same blob that you're working with. Right. Which is really easy. How much trial and error does it take, trial and error, to get to this, this beautiful product here? None at all. None at all. I mean, and so I, whatever comes yeah, out is what comes it's out. It's perfect, yeah. Yeah, it exactly. is perfect. I agree. So let's go a little bit lighter. And this is going to be, I think, more of like a brighter red, which will be cool. Okay. But it's yeah. a little bit lighter. Just go down. You can do you see do the one? difference there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so just throw some white into this blob here. Okay. Yeah, just mix it up. So you think maybe a little yeah, bit more white? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, maybe perfect. a little bit more white? Maybe a little, maybe a little, little bit more, more white? <laughs> okay, let's see where we end. Because we want it to be a little bit, oh, my blob yeah, was a little down. thicker one stroke, than yours. One stroke. Yeah, there you go. It's one stroke. Oh my gosh, isn't perfect. this so perfect? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. What is it? And the thing about mm -hmm. DIY art is that it is yours. It's got the personality and it is in your home, so it makes perfect sense. Exactly. Let's talk a little bit about this one. Great. So this, this one is, cute. is a little frame. So this is just like from a dollar store frame. Pop out that little family photo that comes with it in the yes. glass. So you're just left with nothing on the inside here. Okay. And if you actually just want to move over here. I love it. It's just, these are real sunglasses you hung. Yeah. And it's I mean, cute. if you're anything like me, I have sunglasses in like every room of my house. Yeah. So it's just nice to have like a piece of decor that also doubles as a great spot to hang your sunglasses. It's functional. It's functional. Functional art. I love functional things. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. So then just with some hemp, we're going to okay. take, just measure it out across the back here. You can give it a little slack just so it can hang a little bit. Right. And then using a glue gun, or you can also use tacks and a hammer. You can just put a dot of glue down. I mean, I love a DIY that doesn't uh, need drills or Yeah, nails drills and hammers or... and stuff, just sometimes <clears throat> a little too much. Yeah, it's a so little we'll too much. So we'll do a lot of dot, dot of glue here. And if you want to just pop that hemp right in there. Like that. Yeah, we want it to have a little bit of slack. Mm -hmm, exactly I'll try like not that. to glue my fingers yeah. today. <laughs> there you go. And I don't know, like five, ten minutes to let that dry, you can start hanging sunglasses off of it. See, you got a little thing there. So and you hang your sunglasses and have some fun. Put this right by the front door, you know, in the foyer where you've got your keys yeah. and what have you. Exactly. And then you can pick the sunnies you want for the day. Yeah. Good job. Exactly. I like that. Okay, so that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? You've done these beautiful mason jars. Yeah, so I love anything mason jars. And if you've ever been on YouTube and just put in mason jar, there's Tons. like the best DIYs for mason jar stuff. So yeah. definitely check that out. Great spring, spring ring to Spring, Spring room, room decor. decor. I always just mess a word there. <laughs> I hate a hybrid I word. <laughs> but yeah, so these ones are great. So it's just a mason jar. Yeah. And um, you can use a drill for this one, or you can also use um, just like something sharp and pointy and hammer it in. Got it. If you don't have a drill yeah. to make a hole in the lid, just like that. Okay. So in the lid of your mason jar, mm -hmm. you do one of those. You spray painted it. Spray painted it. And we added some bathroom rings just on top, just to kind of like smooth out that top spot there. Nice. To pop a straw, and just as long as it's like a little bit bigger than the straw. Lovely. And then, um, yeah, throw a, a coat of spray paint on there, and it's even prettier than it was before. Or you can do a couple of coats. Like, I like yeah. this whole ombre situation you have here. Mm -hmm. so you have the turquoise and the gold. That's very cute. Now, do you use this for anything, or is it just art? I mean, it can be art. It can yeah. be a Don't base. drink from it. No, well, you can't have your cocktails <laughs> in this anymore. You, so actually you actually can. You actually can. As long you as you protect the it? inside and... Yeah. And make sure that you're only like it, everything's covered on the outside while you're spraying it. Yeah. You're totally cool to use it. Oh, very cool. Throw it through the um, dishwasher and you're good to go. Just really quickly, I want to show the lips and that beautiful mat. This is the easiest art you can ever do. You get a piece of paper and you kiss it. Literally, that's it. <laughs> you know, kiss face it. and give it a little kiss. That's it. I love that. <laughs> and then you frame it. That could be from the dollar store or IKEA. Literally. And then we've got Ontario 
there. So that's lovely. You just cut that out and put that up and you've got the, the best DIY art for your yeah. space. And that one's also great too if you want to make like a bigger world map and yes. put little hearts over where you've been and just keep adding to it as you travel. I love it. Well, we yeah. heart you. 